that was close. It's not fair. How come she gets the day of school and I don't? Well, your school will have an inset day too at some point. Anyway, you're having a half day to get your plaster taken off. Whatever. Your dad will pick you up from the gates at two o'clock. Me? Yeah, well, I'm booked solid from eleven. Just got a meeting. Do you have to change it? What is more important than taking your daughter to hospital? Right, there you go, get a mag or something. Can I have some chocolate too? Yeah, go on. I'm going to change the plan, darling. It's going to have to be 12 o'clock. I've got to be somewhere soon. Well, I think you need to be somewhere now. Just thought it would be a way of saying sorry. Sean! Right, I got it. I got it. What's he like? It's a pain in the backside. It's quite a fit pain in the backside. <laughs> well, you're welcome to him. What did Mr. March have to say for himself? Nothing I ain't heard before. It used to be funny, now it's too much. Jeez, he's got a screw loose, hasn't he? Look, I'll see you later, Tan. I better get back to the house. You can't leave him on their own too long, even in the eye, Peter, when Lucy's age. See ya. Where's Lauren? Playing chicken on the A12. Look, she's in the shop. Right, I'm off. Got people to see. Uh, since when? I've rearranged my two o'clock. But you're looking after Lauren too? Yeah, but I'm taking Abby to the hospital late. I've got to keep a roof over her age. You'll be all right with your mum at work, won't you? I'm not wasting my day in the salon. I could come with you, I'll be really good. There we are, sorted. Oh, hang about. No, I've got to go, look. I said I'd only be five minutes. I've left Mrs Jennings under the heat lamp. She'll look like the Bride of Frankenstein. Go up to the cellar. I'll be back in five. Wait. I hope you've apologised to my wife. It's funny. I do want to make it up to her. I just don't think you'd appreciate what I got lined up. Stay away. She'll see through you soon enough. And when she does, I'll be there to pick up the pieces. I wanted to remember.